shout out to our first ever fan manga ever our black frieza versus beerus saga because a lot spawned from that ever since beerus sentenced frieza to spin in an infinite vortex for all of the rest of eternity well goku and vegeta would then go on to wish all of the saiyans of universe sevens to get their tails vegeta would then go to universe six battle against hit and then he would eventually befriend the worst offender in the history of universe six the primal beast zykor Meanwhile, Goku would tag along with Broly, get absolutely pulverized when Broly would unlock Primal Instinct, but this ultimately leads to you guys hitting that like button and Goku's own version of Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker called Model Sun Wukong. He manages to help Broly snap out of it, and for more context, trust me because we're on part 11 right now, you're gonna want to at least go back and watch the previous chapter. So chapter 10 along with the entire playlist will be linked down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comments. But as far as our story from here on out, let's hop right in. Zykor has just finished telling Vegeta the story of his past and how he became the worst offender in this universe's history. Vegeta internalizes all of it and tells Zykor the one thing he wasn't ready to hear in that moment. Listen, Zykor, I'll tell you the real reason why you so desperately want to kill all of the Saiyans of Universe 6. It's because they remind you of your weakness, don't they? And it's also because it's your fault that the survivors of Planet Magos used their prowess to rid them of their tails. There's no other way to put it. You don't detest weakness, Zykor. You only detest your own weakness. Now, ordinarily, Zykor would have blasted anyone who dared say anything like that to him, but not in this case. He's already acknowledged Vegeta as a friend, and so, as any sincere friend would, he simply replies, You're absolutely right, Vegeta. Looking back, all my life has been nothing but complete chaos, except those first five years I spent with the old mage, but back when I didn't know about my weakness, I lived in peace. Though, now that I put it into words, it really doesn't make sense, does it? Vegeta lets out a little laugh. Find yourself a woman, Zykor. I was already a little messed up in the head before I found my woman. The right woman is gonna heal you, and in your case, I already know the perfect fit. Following this conversation between Vegeta and Zykor, seven days have passed. A lot of things happened in the past week. After reviving Planet Magos together with Vados, Whis went back to Planet Beerus and proceeded to wake Beerus up from his slumber because of the Grand Priest's order. What is it, Whis? Have those two numbskulls finally begun to rival me in strength, Beerus asks? Perhaps. Who knows? Maybe they've already surpassed you, Whis replies. Oh, really? Beerus says while trying to grab the chocolate shake that's always right next to his bed. How strange. I'm having trouble finding my protein shake, Whis, Beerus adds, as he still has on his blindfold. Lord Beerus, you lost your arm because of Frieza. Try your left hand, Whis states. Man, now that you mention it, curse Frieza. I can't even eat hamburgers from here on out. How long was I asleep this time, Whis, he asks. Barely a week, I'm afraid, Whis replies. Beerus instantly shoots the chocolate shake in his mouth at Whis. Goku and Vegeta managed to rival me in just a week? You gotta be kidding me. I was planning on sleeping for at least 500 more years, Beerus says. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't just because of them I woke you up. No, it was the Grand Priest. You ordered me to end your slumber, Whis replies. I see. Well, at least he didn't ask you to end me in my slumber. That would have sucked. Anyways, what's going on with the Grand Priest? He doesn't usually wake people out of their sleep. That's not how he asserts dominance, Beerus asks. He didn't really give me a clear answer either, but I guess it's related to Primal Instinct, Whis replies. This name rings a bell in Beerus's head. Everyone's memories of Zykor were erased after he was punished with non-existence, but now that Zykor has broken free, Beerus suddenly begins to remember it all. How he was supposed to take care of Primal Zykor when he was sent to Universe 7, how he saw Yamoshi become the legendary Super Saiyan, and his plan to meet the Saiyan legend himself. Unfortunately, when his memories were erased, he forgot all about Yamoshi. Until eventually, about a thousand years later, he began to see Yamoshi's spirit in his dreams, and he was also told about the Super Saiyan God prophecy. Beerus would then get up from his bed. Instantly, he puts on his official attire and says, Let's go, Whis. I want to see what Goku and Vegeta have been up to. Looks like interesting things happened while I was asleep. The two of them then teleport back to Earth. 
In Universe 6, Hit was told by his ancestor that Primal Instinct is an incomplete evolution. It only brings harm and ruin upon not just the universe, but also oneself. His ancestor is the Grand Elder of Planet Moors. His name is Thanatos, and he's been around since before Zeno erased the six universes. He was given a punishment, which is why he can now never leave Planet Moors, but for what it's worth, he's the one of the oldest users of Primal Instinct. Then, there's Planet Magos, the epicenter of magic. Its revival allows Universe 6 to heal from all of the damage that was caused by Zykor a thousand years ago. To make it a little bit easier to understand, Planet Magos is kind of like that magic bag that Big Guy had in the Puss in Boots movie. It's pretty much that. As for what's going on right now, well, Piccolo has been helping Broly meditate so that this absolute beast of a Saiyan doesn't just suddenly start causing chaos and disorder in the universe again. As for Goku's request. Goku is training Gohan, just trying to whip him into shape a little bit, while Beerus and Whis have been going from food festival to food festival, just trying to find a suitable hamburger size that can be eaten with one hand. Both of them always stock up on a lot of food and then just watch Goku train Gohan. This is their entertainment for the time being. Trunks and Goten are doing their best as well, seeing Broly's power awaken that innate Saiyan desire to get stronger within them. However, none of them are aware of what's really happening behind the scenes. Dr. Hito from the Red Ribbon Army managed to capture the radiation emitted from Broly's primal instinct, and he's infused Cell Max with it. In a couple of years, perfected Cell Max will awaken and dominate everything. Going back to Universe 6, Vegeta has Caulifla introduce Zykor to Kel. Trust me, Zykor, she is the perfect woman for you, Vegeta says. Uh, just between me and you, Vegeta? I don't like them both. Why limit myself to just one? I mean, they're both Super Saiyans as well, Zykor says, sharing his thoughts. I understand what you mean, but this is about helping you contain your urge to destroy weakness. It's to help you grow. So just get along, see if you're compatible, try to marry this woman, and whatever, Vegeta replies. And just like that, it would take a while, but Zykor would eventually marry Kale, and now it would only be a matter of time before a Saiyan with unprecedented potential is born. The best is still yet to come. Vegeta, on the other hand, starts wondering about a way to give everyone on planet Sadala a tail, kind of like Goku did. Hopefully before Zykor and Kale have their first child as well. Hey Zykor, unleash your primal instinct. Vados will take note and observe the situation here from her crystal orb. I'll use the opportunity to call her here, Vegeta says. Sure enough, Zykor goes above the atmosphere, unleashes his primal instinct at full throttle, and Vados would eventually appear. Very shrewd, Vegeta, she says. Yes, I apologize for the inconvenience, but is there any way to give the Saiyans of Universe 6 their tails back, he asks. Yes, I can, but I'm not supposed to get directly involved, so... You are better off going to planet Magos and asking the revived inhabitants to remove the curse, she replies. And it looks like Vegeta seems ready to go there, but something interesting would happen. In the next moment, Vegeta, Zykor, Vados, Goku and Broly, Whis and Beerus, and even Champa are suddenly brought to a really familiar place, Zeno's Palace. The Grand Priest welcomes them and asks, what do you two think, Whis? Vados? Should I erase these four Saiyans right here before they continue to change the disposition of the universe, or is there a better way that you might know of? Hey now, Zykor immediately begins to speak, but Vegeta stops him in his tracks. He wants the conversation to play out. In that case, if I may, Grand Priest, Goku and Vegeta have proven themselves capable of harnessing their Saiyan prowess without abusing the chaos of primal instinct. Their recent Limit Breaker transformations are definitely a type of Primal Instinct, just more dignified. That's why they were able to contain Broly and Zykor respectively. And so, if we just allow Goku and Vegeta to keep an eye on Broly and Zykor for the time being, I believe that not just the Saiyan race, but our understanding of Primal Instinct as a whole will evolve tremendously, we states, and he does that professionally. The Grand Priest nods and then looks towards Vados. It was her turn to speak. I second what we said, and besides, as hard as we try throughout history, we've never been able to fully snuff out the flames of primal instinct. It has shown up again now, and it will show up again in the future, I fear. Allowing it to nurture is perhaps the only way forward, and 
What better race can harness his power than the Saiyan? They are a primal race after all, she finishes. Hearing this, the Grand Priest replies, Excellent. As always, the two of you have brilliant judgment, though I'm not convinced just yet, not fully. I want to hear it from the Saiyans themselves. Saying this, the Grand Priest faces both Goku and Vegeta and then asks, So do you two think you're capable of doing what nobody in the history of the multiverse has ever done? In mastering the legendary primal instinct. Both Goku and Vegeta would look at each other, both letting out a grin, and then Goku would say, Super Saiyan 5? Well, that's your answer, Grand Priest. This transformation is going to be everything, Vegeta would finish. Beerus and Champa look at each other in disbelief. They were just chilling a couple of minutes ago and now they have to hold their breath in front of the Grand Priest? As for the Grand Priest himself, he considers the words of Whis and Vados and also considers Goku and Vegeta's confidence. He uses his Omni Premonition to see if allowing these Saiyans to live right here will be the right choice and in the wake of his premonition, the Grand Priest gives the go. I understand. I'll let you guys go for now, but Zykor, if you let your bloodlust out once again, you're going to be upset by the guards, he says. Though before he could transport them back to where they were, Vegeta steps up and asks the Grand Priest for a favor. He gets right to the point. I'd like you to make it so that the Saiyans of Universe 6 have tails just like how they used to have in the past. Mastering Primal Instinct is directly related to letting the Saiyans go back to their natural disposition. This is my request as the current Saiyan King of Universe 7, Vegeta states. It felt ridiculous. In the past, the Saiyan King of Universe 7 was stepped on by Destroyer Beerus and yet, now Vegeta is asking the Grand Priest for a favor using his Saiyan title. It was kind of poetic a little bit. It makes no sense, but since it was so ridiculous and maybe also because the Grand Priest had already acknowledged him, he obliges. And with that, thanks to Vegeta, every Saiyan alive, whether it be in Universe 6 or Universe 7, now has a tail. Vegeta has steered the future of the Saiyan race in the right direction in my opinion. Now the next goal of the Saiyan race is to finally achieve the ultimate Saiyan evolution and I hope you guys are ready for the next arc in this what if because next the perfect combination of primal instinct and Saiyan blood or as dubbed by Goku and Vegeta the transformation called Super Saiyan 5 is on the way and with part 11 coming to a close we are finally gonna conclude the first arc of what if goku and vegeta wish their tails back make sure you guys are subscribed have those notifications on because the second arc of this what if is going to be twice as crazy as the first